Hello and welcome. My name is Bria, and I will be your gracious host this evening. Uh, but before we get into this week's episode, I would first like to acknowledge and thank the traditional custodians of the land that we stand on today, the home of the Yogara and Turrbal people. We'd like to pay our respects to the elders and members of the community, past, present, and emerging. But I'm your host, Bria, and welcome to Unseen, the show where we look behind the curtain to all of our favorite things, learning and unveiling things that, honestly, even I didn't know. Today, we've got a very exciting lineup, and I say that because we're going to go backstage into music festivals. Matt, my co-host, is going to take you through all the best festival survival tips, and we're going to learn exactly how to set up a tent, as well as how to cook up some good old grub whilst camping. Uh, later on as well, we're going to be interviewing the fabulous Lincoln Savage, the mastermind behind Yonder Festival. And I'm also super excited to introduce the incredibly talented Lachlan Fang to our jam tent today. So we've got so much to look forward to. It's all happening. What an episode. And I tell you what, I just can't wait any longer. So let's just get into it. Over to you, Matt. Let's go. Hi. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the most absolute best tent. First thing you want to do is get a tent. One that you're completely unfamiliar with is fine. And you can get it from Aldi. The next thing is, you want to secure a campsite. If you have to fight for the campsite, do it. Step one, setting up the base of the tent. So the first thing we're going to do is set it up so that it's where we want it to be, but we're also going to set it up so that the door is facing where we want it to be as well. Let's do it! Step two. We are going to arrange these sticks into long sticks, and then we're going to arrange it in an X formation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to attach these to the body of the tent. My tent has clips on top, so all I need to do is clip it in place. Step four. If your tent has a rain fly, let's make sure to put it on top. Step five. Once that's on top, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it down with these. Once these are on, it'll ensure that when you're moving around the tent, the tent doesn't move with you. So sometimes these pegs can be really hard to get in. My solution, just stomp on them. Yeah. And that is how you set up a tent. Hope this guy proved useful, and we'll see you in the next one.
you so much to the talent that is Lachlan Fang. And now we're back in the studio with my very special guest, Lincoln Savage Festival Director for Yonder and all around living legend. Thank you so much for coming in, Lincoln. How are you? I'm doing really well, thanks. How are you? I'm quite all right, you know. Uh, but please, first off, introduce us to Yonder Festival. What goes on in the hinterlands of the Sunshine Coast? Uh, well, Yonder is a three-day camping music and arts festival uh, held in the rolling hills of the Mary Valley, uh, just inland from Noosa. It features a pro program of uh, live music, visual art, um, performance, workshops, um, even a few new elements this year, two new stages. Um, one is a, a dedicated ambient stage that we've, uh, we're going to be building in the forest. Um, which features a program of long format ambience, which I think is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time and finally have a chance to do it. Yeah, that all sounds incredibly divine. And I also want to ask you, you know, what does your role consist of? What does it mean to be a festival director? What's the responsibility there? <clears throat> I mean, as things grow, the responsibility grows. Um, the team grows, but uh, everything from scanning tickets to pouring beers um, to making sure that there are enough keyboard stands because some people get pretty pissed off about that. Um, but yeah, you know, I think generally the, the gist of it is I think humans um, have an innate need to engage mm -hmm. and so festivals exist as a space to get away from our, I don't know, artificial mechanical lives and, and um, explore something with no obligation just to be. Yeah, so that was always kind of the, the thing to, to kind of build a safe space. Hey, and what is it that you're most excited for this Yonder 2021? Um, I'm really excited that you're coming this year. I am. So let's get into it. I can't wait for this next music segment. Let's go, Lachlan, back in the studio. There's been some lonely, lonely nights. Festivals can be really tricky. You've already spent all your money on the tickets, your clothes, petrol get there, the campsite, and you don't want to be paying $15 just for a shitty hot dog. But fear not. We've created a festival list of do's and don'ts. So you're not undernourished and you're not poor. Number one, be prepared. Don't be that person that rocks up to a festival and doesn't bring any cutlery for three days. Make sure you pack these essentials. Cutlery. A plate. And a bowl. Some soap. A water bottle. And some trash bags. And some Panadol. We also recommend investing in dry ice. For your Eski, this means you won't have to constantly change your eyes, which is overpriced at festivals. And a butane cook stove. You can buy these from your local camping store. Number two, pre-plan your meals. 
The Fitzpo health gurus have said this to you once and I'm gonna say it again. Meal prep. It's the way to go. Freeze some chili or some chili con carne and bring some wraps instead of bread, which tends to get soggy and squished. It's also helpful to use some foods that you can use in multiple meals. For instance, you can use some salad and you can eat that solo or you can put it in a wrap or you can hard boil an egg and put it in some noodles with some veggies. Number three, bring snacks. Snacks are a great source of nutrition throughout the day. Don't fall into the trap of just eating potato chips. We suggest snacking on muesli bars, carrot sticks with hummus, nuts, jerky, dried fruits, rice cakes, cookies, and of course, a healthy dose of chips and chocolate. We hope these tips are useful for your next festival venture. See you next time. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode and an incredible special thank you to our guest, Lincoln, and also to Yonder Festival. Um, I'll see you next Tuesday, uh, where we've got all sorts of other stuff lined up. It's all happening. God knows what's going down. you have to wait and see. But I've been your host, Bria, and this has been Unseen.